Hi, I'm Philo Landowski. We're here at Dover Street Market Paris showroom in the heart of Paris, Le Marais, and I'm gonna show you around my Autumn Winter 23 collection. I created this brand around three years ago, so it's our seventh collection, and I chose to use my name because it means I love in ancient Greek and that kind of represents the mindset. I mean, when I create, it's kind of always starts from what I love, what I like, and what inspires me to create every day. So let me introduce you to our newborn to O33 Azar. It's a new shoe that I conceived this season with a new developed outsole in EVA, sugarcane EVA. Sustainability is really like important for me. It was kind of a huge development. Basically, it's 70% recycled sugarcane. The upper, it's 26% recycled apples to create this leather. Basically, this volume was inspired by a travel to Iceland a few years back. This idea of a morphing, a living organism that will kind of expand and kind of eat the food that is above it, the molded lugs. The idea was to really have this zone of friction that is really like very, very tiny. So it's basically 5% of the outsole actually touches the ground when you're walking, uh, thanks to a W construction in the outsole. So basically the outsole is doing like that. So we basically have them in both colors, black and white, that are basically pretty much all I use for my brand. <laughs> and a few others, but that's to come later. There is two archetypes in the collection, so there is the Azar kind of archetypes, so very sneakery and kind of massive. And there is the massive one, which kind of became iconic for the brand. The silhouette is a very interesting one, I guess. It's inspired from a travel to Morocco I did uh, last winter. We did like a trek in the Agafe Desert. That's why it's called Agafe. Basically started from that and became like a mule that is a very difficult archetype to design because it's very uh, minimalist, there is pretty much nothing on it and the archetype is like super strong, like a mule is a mule and you can't really redesign it. That's how it became this shoe, which kind of instantly became a bestseller for us. As an advice to young designers, I would say get inspired as much as you can, ask questions, listen to what people have to say and above all, trust your vision.